Hello, family. My name is Chris. I am your home gamer dad, and it's that time of year once again, the change of the seasons. And with that happening, it made me think of this game, so I decided let's jump back into the creature filled world of constructions and cute behaviors with Everdell on the Nintendo Switch. Now, why? Why, why, why have we not gotten any updates for this yet? Like seriously, where is my Pearl Brook, my Spire Crest, New Leaf, Miss Wood? Where is, where's even Belfair to give me just extra options? It, it's, it, it's all the same. Um, and I, it's it, even the, even the creatures, even the creatures that you can play as are still these same uh, four right here. Where, where are the rest of my critters? Where's my axolotls? Where are my owls? Where's all that stuff? But. I mean, it is what it is right now. Um, we're just gonna, we'll, we'll do mice this time. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much what that comes down to right now. So I wanted to come back into this uh, because like I said, it's a change of seasons. We're going forward, we're doing some new stuff. And I figure for this one, I would like to do, where are we? Uh, we're gonna go right up here, actually the very first one. Um, this is Spring into action. And I've already done the first part of this already just to kind of test it out and see how it works. Basically, each player starts in spring instead of winter. I don't like winter. I'm more than fine skipping it and whatever. But for this, we're gonna do the heroic difficulty of this particular challenge, meaning that only you, meaning me, starts in spring instead of winter. This gives all of the other players an extra advantage because they're going to go through one more change of seasons, getting their uh, critters back to be able to put them on the board, things along that way. So we are going to spring into action because that's the time of year again it is. So let's go ahead and bloom it into the world of Everdell. All right, so we got ourselves a three player game right here. We are the squirrels. Looks like we're going second or we're not the squirrels. We are the mice. We got a four player game obviously going here is what I set up. And uh, again, we are the mice, and it looks like we are going first, which is awesome. Now, uh, once again, everybody up there is starting in winter. We are automatically in spring. We have three, uh, as you can see down below the mouse right here, uh, three uh, critters that we can put out on the field, whereas everybody else has two, but then they can recall those two and then do it again. What else I have, what do we got? What, what are you? I don't know if I know what this one is. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, copy a basic location on the board and draw one card. Oh, that's cool. All right, so that's that's really good. I like that. Um, and then this one is discard three cards and gain one resource for each one. What do I got up here? I have, can I look at you please? Thank you. We have a lookout, clock tower, not a fan of that. A palace, oh, those are so good. So many points. Uh, and then the postal pigeon, the chapel, and then another clock tower. Two clock towers, fairgrounds, drawing fairgrounds is nice to draw some cards with. Uh, I want to try to get some uh, of these guys in here going just because the green ones are great to have, especially if I don't, <laughs> if I skip an entire season. You may pay up to two to gain an equal amount of two, so it's basically swapping. So, what do I want to do first? Well, we definitely need to start getting some resources going together. And I think the best thing for me to do here is to also gain some cards. So I'm gonna drop a critter here. We're gonna draw three cards. That's great. And then uh, we have a uh, pebble, which are very, very good to have. And where is the hedgehog going? He's going there, perfect. So we still have a lot of options. Now you can't put your critter in a spot that it already been in. So that's good here. However, what I can do is I can go here and I can toss three cards in order to gain three resources of my choosing. Question is, what do I want? I have just a pebble. Um, I could put that down. I don't think I need that yet. Okay, so actually in this situation, the clock towers are probably going to help me. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna drop a mouse here and I am going to toss my chapel, um, my monastery, and my postal pigeon. Yep, confirm all those, please. Thank you. And I'm actually going to gain three wood. Confirm that. And then I'm gonna play a clock tower next turn. Now, where do I play it from? Do I play it from the meadow or do I play it from my hand? You know what, I'm gonna play it from the meadow just so I have an ability to toss cards if I need a little bit later. So, we're gonna play that from the meadow. 
And so now what this is, is that at the beginning of my prepare for season, so as soon as I choose to go to the next season, I can activate one basic or forest location where I have a worker place, which is good because I need to reactivate things as fast as possible in order to kind of gain back those, uh, what is it? Uh, those lost turns that I'm gonna have. And actually, I'm gonna do that right here too. So we're gonna plop a mouse here and then I get to activate any one up here. Uh, which one do I want? I'm gonna do the two wood in a card here, just again to gain another card in hand, which is really nice. And then I can always um, get my peddler out, which is right here, and then like exchange uh, any resources I have for something else, which is really good. So everyone's gathering a bunch of things, and <laughs> somebody gathered a gatherer, and our hedgehogs have now bounced away to the next year. Can I play anything? I don't think I can, unfortunately. Uh, so I have to go from summer to the next season. So let's go ahead and just do that now. And I get to now activate a place that I have one of my uh, characters. We'll go here to gain a card and we'll go here to gain two resin as well. So that's really good. I like that. And then everybody comes back and that's still, get oh, the farm. I need my farm. I love my farms. Farms are one of my favorite. Oh, good. Good, and then the harvester is here too, even better. So now hopefully I'll be able to get, there we are. Yep, I'm just gonna grab it. Boom, immediately grabbing it, adding it to my uh, town, and then hopefully on my next turn I can just throw the harvester down immediately. Um, it will link to the farm, so for those of you that don't play, uh, normally whenever you play a critter, you're either gonna play, pay the berry cost, which is to the left here, which is three for the harvester, but because I have a farm, in the upper right corner, as you can see there, this location is linked to, well, these two, and I'd be able to play one of those for free. So I'm definitely gonna do that, but unfortunately, uh, gain one if paired with the gatherer. Unfortunately, I don't have a gatherer. Somebody already took it, but I'll grab her anyway. Come here. And yep, we're gonna confirm that. Plop you down there. Very, very good. Now I gotta think about my next turn. All right, let's go ahead and go here. And I'm gonna toss my clock tower, my judge, and I'm gonna toss, as much as I love the palace, because it will gain a lot of points, it's very expensive to play. And I'll hopefully be able to find something a little bit better. But for right now, we're gonna to toss that. So we're gonna confirm those. And I'm gonna get one wood and two pebbles. So this way I have the ability to play my twin bar, uh, twig barge, which is down here, to immediately gain two wood. And I can also play my resin refinery, which will gain myself immediately one resin. So we're gonna play that one first. My goal right now is just to kind of play these for these uh, constructions to get them down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting critters into my, uh, uh, what is it, my, uh, my, my town, which the barge toad could go down for free once I get the uh, twig barge in. And then one of these chip sweeps can go down as well for free. So I'm gonna play this one. See, I'm already starting to gain a lot of resources back too, which is gonna help someone took one of the chip sweeps. All right, so I gotta remember to grab this my next turn so long as nobody else grabs it. Oh, I'm watching you, I'm watching you guys. Oh my gosh, you played the ever tree. Wow, wow, yeah, okay, you're gonna gain a lot of points there. Um, come here. Yep, we're gonna use that. Bloop. And now I get to go ahead and choose to activate one of these. So I can get a resin, two wood, or a berry. I think I'm gonna take the resin. So we'll say that's active. Yep, so that's good. Activate that one, get another resin, very good. Because I may want to grab the fairgrounds next as well. Because the fool is fun to play because you put that on somebody else's village, they lose uh, points by the end of the game. And then it's just, you know, just a thing to do. Um, plus the fairgrounds are good because I can actually gain uh, cards. I do need a berry though, or not a berry, uh, a pebble. Um, this will actually give me two wood as well. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use that. Boop. Got a lot of wood here, which is great. I really should, that's already been taken, right? The, the green, because I think I would have been able to grab. Oh yeah, I really should pay attention to these up here too. Uh, Barge Toad I have, Undertaker I do not have. One of each kind is up here too, but I don't have that either. What I need right now are cards and a pebble. And guess what? This gives me cards and a pebble. So 
We'll drop someone here. We'll gain all of that. Ooh, the mine. The mines are really good too. They gain a, uh, a pebble every turn. And I think once I go to the next season, all of my greens activate, which I have a lot of green here, as you can see. I think before I play anything else, I'm gonna play the lookout because this enables me to copy any basic or forest location. So I could actually copy this right here, even though I don't have, uh, even though I don't have a space to put a, uh, a critter on it. Um, yeah, you know what? I like that because it's gonna give me options in the future. So we'll put that guy down. Now, oh, okay, so the squirrel has gone to the next season. They are in summer. Um, they have a lot of critters to put down, but now that also opens up a lot of options for me. All right, I'm gonna drop somebody here, which will gain me a card, but then I can also grab any one of these up here. Um, I want the peddler as well, because I have resources that I think I can get rid of. That'll be really nice but I need a berry to do that. You know what? Let's grab a card and a berry. So I should actually take two cards and I have a berry. So now I'll be able to play my peddler, which is really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play the peddler. And then I'm gonna turn both wood into pebbles. Pebbles are like really, really good resources to have in this game. Uh, you, you need them for most constructions, obviously. Um, now it's a matter of what do I want to do else? Can I? I'm going to try this. I'm going to attempt, once it's my turn again, Hedgehog's going to do all of that. I'm going to pop my last guy here and I can. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and draw three cards and gain another pebble. I should be able to gain all three. Beautiful. Oh, I got the gatherer. Yes, I can play that and pair it here, even though I need, um, what is it? I need uh, other stuff. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna play the mine next. That's gonna gain me a pebble, which is good. Uh, even though I spent a wood and a resin in order to do that, but that's okay. We're doing all right. He's this, he's made a discovery there. Yeah, people are taking stuff that are up here on the other tree. So there's like achievements up here as well. Like if I had an inn and a bard, I could take that. An undertaker and a barge toad or one of each type. If I had three uh, explorers or three uh, of the red uh, pod, which I think are like, I forget, I forget exactly what they're called. But uh, if I had three red ones in my village, I'd be able to grab that. Unfortunately, I do not have any of that right now. But as you can see over here, everyone else is starting to like really pile on. Turtle only has a few more spaces left. Squirrel, ah, squirrel, you have a lot of open spots there. Um, yeah, and then Hedgehog, Hedgehog also has a lot of open spots, jeez. Um, what else do I have? Yes, you gained all your specialties. Ah, man, I don't really want to go yet. Everyone else, Hedgehog it will be probably changing season soon. Squ Turtle is still in spring? Wow, what are you doing? That's insane. Oh man, I don't want to switch over to fall yet. Oh no. I got the space, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down Historian because I have the clock tower already, which is good. And uh, what that guy does is uh, I can draw a card after I play a critter or construction. And I'll be playing a lot of those going forward um, within the next season and I'm gonna have to do it. I have to go to the next season, because I don't think there's anything else that I can do right now. Who, who's getting the fool? You played the fool on who? Wasn't on me. Okay, it was on somebody else, or else it would have popped up somewhere right next to my uh, historian here. But unfortunately, even though I could play the cemetery, uh, you know what? I'm going into my last season, and I got a plan. Let's go ahead and do that. Throw the cemetery down, and then I need to go to the next season actually cannot do anything else uh, for right now, unfortunately. I need my workers in order to be able to do things. Um, the clock tower is going to help me because I'm gonna be able to use one of the basic and force locations in order to gain some stuff. So I can go here, uh, discarding, yep, okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna discard the farm, the harvester, because I need the gatherer, and we will get rid of, let's get rid of the twin barge because I already have one of those. Confirm that. 
and I am going to take, I'm gonna get a lot of like other stuff. So um, let's just go one of each. And now a lot of my, actually all of my greens should then start triggering one by one. Look at that. See, look at all that stuff. And now I can use you in order to, the peddler will be able to swap things around. Let me look here, hold on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate you and we're gonna go ahead and choose to activate this one to produce two more wood. And then with my peddler, I can take those two wood and give myself a resin and a berry because I'm definitely gonna need that berry. Because on my next turn, I'd like to play the gatherer into my village who will not actually take up a space because they're paired with the hunters. And now this is of course Everdell for everyone. This was like the husband and the wife originally, but they changed it to Harvester and Gatherer just to be, you know, a little bit more, I guess, correct, I guess, maybe something along that ways. Um, doesn't bother me. I like it either way. Uh, I think it's pretty cool the way that they did that. And uh, here we go. I just wanna play that right now. They are in love. They love it. Awesome. And I get a lot more points because of that because my Harvester gains three points because they are, uh, they are uh, connected with the Harvester. Now, unfortunately I don't get the Harvester's uh, special, but whatever, I got the points and that's what mattered. There goes the hedgehogs into the fall. All right, here we go, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna drop one of my guys on this. And I think I'm gonna look in the discard pile, confirm. And, uh, okay, wait, that's all. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh no, what happened? Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Where's my, where, where'd my thingy go? What happened? Oh, can, where's my, oh, this game needs a back button so badly. What is, that's the Evertree, oh, what happened? I was trying to go into the discard pile to grab like an Evertree or something like that, but now it won't let me do it? Oh, are you kidding? Oh, that's so silly. Ah, oh, I had other words to use for that, but I really don't want to use those other words right now. That is terrible. Oh. All right, I'm gonna take the chapel. Oh man, I had, oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's so, oh. I lost out on just points in general and a worker that I dropped on it and you grabbed the king, which is kind of what I was working towards. Man, ah, oh, that stinks. Um, well, before I do anything else, I'm actually going to drop a dew down on here, gain some cards, gain that way, and then I can grab the shepherd here for free, gaining some berries and also an additional victory point. Wow, look at Squirrel. Squirrel's at 34 points. Oh my goodness, because they got probably the, um, yep, we're gonna take that. The uh, discard pile was shuffled. Okay, cool. And, uh, they got the Evertree, which might have already been taken at some point. I don't even know. I couldn't. I didn't pay attention to that. Fortunately, I'm not going to be winning this one, but uh, let's see what else I can do. Let's drop somebody right here. And as you can see down over this way, we'll be able to gain that special spot. Yay, right down there. You can see the three points. So I gained three victory points because I had three of the red spots uh, within uh, my little city area. So... Might as well, might as well just utilize them the best that I can. And it looks like I've got a few different open areas. All right, it's coming down to the point where I only have one more space left, I've noticed. So I'm gonna drop uh, one of my guys here, just so at the very least I can get some points. And I gotta toss four cards. So the storehouse doesn't do anything. Gatherer doesn't do anything. Uh, courthouse and what is this again? Play your critter? Yeah, I don't have the space, so by all means, get rid of all that. Whoosh away. And at least gives me four points. Kind of pulls me a little bit back in. Squirrel has 41 points, which is absolutely insane. Um, I have two guys left. Oh, gosh, man, this, is, this did not work out well as well as I thought. I'm actually going to go ahead and just kind of throw down the wood carver because it gains me two. And then I can go ahead and just spend all my wood to gain three more points. So gives me a little bit something uh, extra. 
All right, with two left, let's go. Uh, uh, you took it. Mr. Uh, Mr. Turtle already took all of his stuff there, which is fine. Um, do I just toss him? <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go there. Uh, innkeeper and I have two minor moles. Sure, toss one of them. Goodbye. Not that I can play the other minor mole anyway, so I don't know what I'm really trying to do. Um, let's put my last guy. Where do I want to put him? Where do I want to put him? I wish I had space in my actual area, but I don't. I don't have any more space in my town. All 15 slots have been used. Really, it's just a matter of gaining more points. So to make sure that I have the point, I'll drop my last guy here to draw two cards and gain 40 points. And that's going to be where I end because quite frankly, I can't do anything else. I don't have any other options and I've used all my workers and I got to pass. So now everyone else is just going to kind of do their thing. Uh, we got people playing stuff over here. Turtle has been filled, so we can't do anything else. I wonder if he's passed fully too. Uh, squirrel. Has a few more spots left over. Yep, pop all your guys there. Do your stuff that way. It's fun watching the uh, the computer kind of do their thing. Wow, you have a, what is that? You have a, a ruins right there, Mr. Hedgehog. Got peace on that side. Yep, turtle is done. As you can see, they are now closed for permanently. Just Hedgehog and Squirrel doing their stuff and they are going to fly past both of us. I don't know how much more Squirrel's gonna do, but they have three more spots. Oh, they have those two Wanderers? Are you kidding? They have three Wanderers. Wow, look at that. None of those Wanderers take a space in their village. So they can just keep adding more and more on top of that. They each give one uh, victory point apiece. Ah, uh, and I forget it. I even forget what they do. What are their special abilities? Come here, Mr. Wanderer. Nope, not you. Draw three cards. So they just get cards. Fantastic. Good job, Squirrels. Yeah, they're gonna be uh, the winners on this one. We did not do very well at all, but we beat the turtles. And I guess that counts for something, right? Uh, the start pile has been shuffled back into the main deck. I wonder how many times that's happened. I actually haven't been paying attention to that. Uh, I, something went away from the hedgehog, so they use one of their other buildings to destroy something else. This is what it does, right? Yep, discard a construction, gain the resources, draw stuff, and there we go. There we have it, everyone. I, I was not doing very well at all with all that. But at the least, you know, it's still not a bad point value for completely missing an entire season. Remember, I started in spring, whereas everyone else started in winter. So initially you go into this with a disadvantage, but that's the point of the challenges. That's the point of them in order to be able to get better at the game, utilize your resources better, and then overall, you know, win the day in the end. But good job, squirrels and hedgehogs. Good job. Okay, so the mice didn't do very well springing into action for this particular challenge. And you know what? I'm okay with that because I can always go back in and try again. I'm fine that winter left early this year, which I actually feel like it is right now. It is here in New Jersey. It should be in the 30s, like high 30s, low 40s. And it's like 60 degrees out there, which is nuts. So more than fine with this. I love the warmer weather. It's much, much better. And with that said, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of Evernow. Um, it, does anybody out there have any information about when we might be getting the DLC for Pearl Brook, uh, Spire Crest, or even if this is coming at all, because that's what I want. I want to be able to do more with the game and add in those expansions. Hey, we have it for Wingspan. We have uh, the, the European expansion and the uh, Oceania expansion for that. You know we're gonna get the Asian expansion at some point, so I want the expansions for Everdell to come out so badly because I, I love Pearl Brook. Spire Crest is probably one of the best expansions ever for a game in my opinion. Uh, maybe I'll do a family meeting about my favorite expansions. But in any case, there's so much more potential to Everdell that is just not explored yet within the digital version. And I would love to hear your opinions about it down below. But otherwise that, in order not to miss any future Everdell action or any other fun video I have to put out for you to enjoy, be sure you are subscribed to The Home Gamer Dad. If you wish to support the channel even further, there are ways to do that down in the description below. But please, your view, your like, your share, your subs, all of that stuff goes a long way into helping out the channel and also lets me know what it is that you guys like to see and what you want to see more of.
You've all been absolutely amazing. Thank you again. Take care of yourselves and each other. We are family forever, gaming together. Whether you like spring or not, whether you like winter or not, it doesn't matter what your season is. We will always be there watching each other grow and evolve and just get better and better as time goes on. You guys have a good one and I will see you in the next one. Later, everyone.